I'm Janae Armigan. And I'm Sean Armigan, and we're inside the Think Blot with SK. Everybody, you inside the Think Blot with SK, that's me. So in the Think Blot, we're going to talk about a lot of different things. Thinking is kind of formulated in the head, people don't really want to let it out. So we're going to go in there, jump in that blot, that stain that you got on your brain, I feel like House of Pain right now, and we're going to just take that information and we're going to share it with y'all. So why wouldn't you want to watch? So take a listen. You know, watch some pretty people, some awesome artists, some great talent. You might even be mad at some of the things that we have to say, but guess what? It's gonna get you thinking. So do me a favor. Right now, we episode two. We got the Armageddon twins. We have Shauna and we have Janae. We're gonna go check them out in a bit. I lost a button, it popped out somewhere. Don't worry, we're gonna get all that fixed. Wardrobe! Let's go. It's me. I told you I know where pretty girls live. They're right here. They're twins. This is Janae and that's Shauna. No, wait, wait, wait. This is Shauna, that's Janae. Good stuff, congratulations. Thank you, Gold high star. five, high five. What led you down to um, wanting to model, wanting to get into music and acting and all those wonderful things? Well, with the modeling, it, it kind of happened by an accident. It, it was really funny. We were out at a party and a mutual friend of ours was with us and we got a flyer for like this model search. And he turned to me and he said, well, you might as well just give that to your sister because you're not gonna do that. And I thought, try. well, let me try it. Yeah, I thought, try too. So I tried it. And then from there, it just kind of opened doors to other things. And the domino effect, it just trickled into other opportunities. So were you the first one to take a step at modeling? For or? modeling, yes. Okay. But acting, it would be Janae. Madame Janae, <laughs> lady of the silver screen. Oh, trying to be. Trying and the small TV screens. Working in progress. Um, uh, it's actually quite funny. I started doing track and field first because I wanted to be an athlete. And then uh, scholarship year, I messed up my leg, traditional story. And um, as I was doing therapy and just relaxing, I took a theater class, which was, you know, easy breezy, lemon mm. squeezy. And uh, <laughs> I realized how much fun it was. Right. I enjoyed doing the uh, improv and the theater and all that jazz. And then um, I actually watched this movie called Loaded on Dirty Shame with Jada Pinkett. And mm -hmm. I loved Love her, her attitude and the character and stuff. And I didn't know you could be mean. And you know, it'd be okay with life. So I said, after that, I want I wanted to do acting because I want to be mean for no reason. And She's always mean. That's not, Anybody who knows that's me not acting. knows it's not true. Now, you're rehearsing for a role. Mm -hmm. You're taking up the music. Um, is it hard juggling? No. Is it hard juggling? It's not, I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's hard. It's, um, it's challenging, mm -hmm. but I've never, been stressed out or you know cried or been upset about it i would rather have more to juggle than to have absolutely nothing and just you know like have the bottle become my friend and just you know cry to my sister about life there's no point i have days everybody has days anybody who's an artist has those days when nothing is going their way yeah. and they're expecting to be somewhere at a certain time and it doesn't happen you're like seriously what's going on with my life you know and then when some i find when i hit that slump you know i've got my sister and my mom to influence, no, don't worry about it, everything happens for a reason, it's going to come, you're working hard for it, and then that door will open. Right. So, um, yeah, to answer your question, um, it's not difficult. <laughs> it's not difficult. Well, when, you have a, when you have the network that you do, I guess yeah. it, it is, right? And There's right. a lot of people that don't too. have that network. You know, I, don't, I don't think it's so much the network as it is the support. Yeah. Okay. Because the support, it, it sustains you, and that's the most important factor in any career you pursue, whether it's the arts, philosophy, you know, lawyer, doctor, whatever, like, right. life is hard, period, and everybody gets to a point where they're like, what's the point, yeah. because they don't get where they want to be, or their life isn't what they anticipated, or whatever the case. I think the support system makes a difference in your confidence, um, your level of encouragement, and your motivation. Not many people know how to take natural beauty and actually display 
and I should really like take that. They over try to overdo it. They try to, you know, really dull themselves and take to a level that it really shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. What kind of tips do you have for all these young girls out there? They're trying a little too hard, just a touch too hard. I'll let Sean answer this one. <laughs> uh, the tips I have for the girls today <clears throat> is, well, especially the younger girls, is be your age. I think the common problem with a lot of the girls that that they misconstrue beauty or natural beauty is they they mimic what they see. Mm -hmm. um, they want to grow up so fast. They want to do everything that older women do because that's considered beautiful. That's considered sexy. And my advice, I know it's a long shot, but it's don't. Like, that's not sexy. You're just copying what somebody else thinks is sexy. What's sexy to me or what the, how I convey myself is I don't worry about what other people think. I concentrate on me and the impression I want to leave or the impression I want to have on people, which is that I am confident mm -hmm. and I don't have to go out my way to prove that. Just and you know what? You, you need to be yourself and you need to love yourself first because if you don't love yourself first and put yourself first, nobody else will. And the type of respect that you should be getting from men, you have to give that. You have to show that. This is what I want. This is what I need. And if you can't provide that, there's the door. Not, oh, well, I can, I can change. I can fix. Oh, you, well, you want this? Oh, you want me to do this? Okay, well, I can do. No. 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 If, oh, you want me to do? Okay, well, that's what you have a mother for. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Someone's, someone's in trouble. I'm just saying, because I just... Someone's in trouble. I just see all these young girls, and it just makes me so upset that they act so desperate to have a man by their side when men aren't even thinking twice. Do you know what I'm saying? So you just need to... No offense, SK. I felt bad for Chesa. Ladies, this is my example. I felt bad for Chesa the other day, too. She, Stop she, that. <laughs> she ate him up. You told me to. You told me. You said, you we need to be mean. You need, you're okay, angry. Okay, you're fed okay, up. Okay, I think you guys should explain the situation. No. Because for the people who don't know who Chesa is and what you're talking about. I don't know, about. man. I don't know. Chesa's, Chesa's my friend. He's an artist. We did a video for him. She was one of the lovely actors in the video, and she ate him up. Because they asked me to be a woman that is fed up with her boyfriend, and it shows in her actions. That is what I did. Sounds she, pretty clear. She ate him up. Felt sorry for him. He couldn't get a word in edgewise. Like, he couldn't say anything. His face was like this. <laughs> Two beautiful ladies. <laughs> I told you I knew where they live. He didn't, really. He called. He, he actually her. went to the wrong house. Yeah. I saw it. He followed us here. Two. He was like, I will pay you. <laughs> I will pay you to be friends. Just, I, I'm working on this this, this blog <clears throat> thing, and you know, I want people to look at it, and you guys are like hot to trot, hot toddies. And You're I famous! Will, I will pay you. And That's we're like, uh. Oh. Alright, I guess, you know, we got time because this is our downtime. Fine. So let's just, you know, turn the video game off, help him out. So. <laughs> <laughs> You've been inside the Think Blog with SK. <laughs> I'm SK. Told you I knew it. Dear hip hop, I know that you're alive, so I'm paying my respects because a part of you died. You're a body, they took your old voice away. Still a baby, so I'm waiting on the time to change. Beginning of your birth grand came like a flash, the message was sent, and Curtis Blow blew right past and paved me the way for LL to rock the bells. MC Light grabbed the mic, and Slick Rick had a story to tell. Well, rest in peace to DJ Scott LaRock. When KS1 broke down the word officer, man, that was hot. And Public Enemy told us what to fight for. Arrested for developments of our minds and flows. From special ed to Bismarck while well, Chubb still disappeared to get a degree. We had Maestro Fresh conducting things. And Lady mentioned me spitting that real Jamaican funk. Hip hop is more than rap music. Hip hop is B boys and DJs. Hip hop is graph writers and B girls. Hip hop itself especially started out so the youth can grow. Hip hop is more than just art. Hip hop speaks from the heart. Hip hop, it was never a trend. Rap music hard to find, now we're standing by its grave. Listen, wash your face in my sink like the warriors. We dream a lot, catch the intricate plot. We rise like the sun sometimes, and when we fall into cash crops, from figure four leg locks like the locks. Bad boys in shiny suits. We had a lot of ghetto concepts, but not two black guys, Master T and the mix. It's mathematics, the way we break down these concepts, yeah. Conceptualizing the chaos, so tell me, 
what does it take to make it? Heaven only knows, so we put a normal touch on it. Picked up from the roots, so here's the foundation of hip hop. Chilling in my b-boy stands from Baby Blue Sound Crew to start it from scratch, let's take it back. To before Bacardi slang. One for the money, yes sir, two for the show, pause. For centuries, we've had this debate. It's really been an issue. I've heard it many times myself. I'm out because I'm light-skinned. I'm in because I'm light-skinned and whatever. I don't even know what that means anymore. Like, my skin really isn't that light. Like, I'm a nice copper tone. I'm in, in the sun, bronzing. Do you guys like me now that I'm bronze? No? All right, forget it. Well, I'm gonna go hit the street. I'm gonna ask everybody else some questions, such as um, chocolate or caramel. What's going on, everybody? I'm here with? Uh, Felicia. That's not a real name. <laughs> and Rosie. And Rosie. Um, just gonna ask ladies a few questions. One, favorite flavor, caramel or chocolate? Caramel. Chocolate. Why? Oh, caramel everything. Why not? <laughs> um, okay. Cream or no cream? Cream. No cream? Cream. <laughs> cream. Um, so I'm here with? Natasha. Hi, Natasha. Hi. So, Natasha, question. Caramel or chocolate? Chocolate. Why? Um, I, I don't know. That's tough. <laughs> okay. Um, it tastes well, better. It tastes better? Yeah. Okay. I am here again with this lovely lady who is? Russia. Russia. R-A-S-H-A. Get it right, get it Ooh. tight. <laughs> Should you sweat? Okay. Question. With, with your men. Do you yeah. like the light skin or dark skin? Uh, dark skin. Why? Um, because I want to be able to pass on some sexy jeans to my kids. Caramel or chocolate? Chocolate. Caramel. Caramel? Why chocolate? I like chocolate. Caramel's a little too sweet, but chocolate, there's like a variation. You go dark chocolate or no chocolate. Caramel or chocolate? Caramel. Why caramel? Just sweet. And gooey. It's good. What's wrong with chocolate? No, I like, I like chocolate too. <laughs> I'm here with Naz and Vanessa. Vanessa. And they have some questions, they have some answers for us for our questions for today. So, Naz, caramel and chocolate. Caramel. Why? Don't like chocolate. <laughs> oh Very rough. Vanessa? Yes. Caramel and chocolate. Vanilla. <laughs> Watch out, there's a billboard behind you. Cool. Alright. What's going on, everybody? I'm with? Melina. Hi, Melina. Hi. Um, question for you. Okay. Do you like um, caramel or chocolate? <laughs> ah, chocolate. Why? Um, because it melts in my mouth. It melts in your mouth, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hard. Chocolate. Why? Because it feels the soul. Really? Yes. She's a little, she's a little deep. I am. <laughs> it's here. Oh, but it's fine. It's cool. Chocolate, yes. <laughs> if you pull chocolate out of your bag right now, there's caramel in that chocolate. I saw it. There's a Mars bar. It's caramel in the chocolate. So she likes both. She's lying. Whoa, okay. you're gonna get me like that, homie? I was not lying. Okay, you said I'm sorry. one or the other. A I'm or sorry. B. Let me correct you. Let me ask you what your flavor is. I'm bronze. That's an ugly color. <laughs> an ugly color does not go with us. You just blend. I'm hurt. I've never I've never felt this way before in my life. Maybe one or two. But it's like, I'm just saying hi, and most women don't even look at me. Don't even give me a smile. They just walk right past me. Or they're like, really? And they're like, give me that. And it's why Pin block. Unanswered text messages. Pin request denied. Difficult conversations. Broken hearts. Teary eyes. Lost words. Misplaced rhymes. Limited comprehension. Broken hearts. Teary eyes. Bonds built broken. Lifelong friends foes. Wishing we can communicate. Praying the wounds would close. Unanswered text messages, pin requests denied. Think I lost my best friend. Broken hearts, teary eyes. 
You've been inside the Think Plot with SK. Just listen. Be blessed. Don't talk to strangers, but you can talk to me. We out.